Life is so unpredictable and temporary. So let's talk about Sukkot and cook for Sukkot. Hey everybody, my name is Leah. This is our sukkah. We're building it right now. So exciting. Now, what is a sukkah? It's a temporary house that we have outside for seven days. I mean, isn't that a little crazy? We live like on a mountaintop with like crazy winds, all this stuff. So it's going to be unpredictable. It's temporary, just like our lives. We're going to talk about that more soon. You know me, with every holiday, I need to see like the meaning in it and the depths in it or else I can't really like be in it. So there's been so many holidays. I created cookbooks and, and guides for all those holidays. I mean, another one for Sukkot, really easy, healthy, yummy recipes for Sukkot that we can make. Also, all the blessings for Sukkot, step by step. It's all interactive, which is awesome, which means like every page is things to think about. You can write things down, things to meditate on. So it's really, really great. Okay, so what is Sukkot? Sukkot is a Jewish holiday on the calendar that commemorates the nation of Israel's journey out of slavery from Egypt. And then guess what? They wandered around the desert for 40 years. It's the old joke, why didn't, you know, the Jews and the Israelis create ways earlier so they would know where they're going, right? But they didn't. They often refer to Israel as startup nation. Well, this is pretty cool. One of the companies that got started here, Waze. You all know Waze, it's how we all get around. Waze started in Israel. They're in that building right there. Let's go. So for these seven days, we sleep outside in the sukkahs, which are temporary dwellings or booths, as English calls it. <laughs> and you know what's also temporary? Our emotions. You know, we can be so stuck in negative emotions or positive emotions or situations of life we feel like we cannot get out of. But guess what? It's all temporary, the good and the bad. So we can find peace when going through something really, really bad to breathe and to sit and to think about the sukkah. So the sukkah is a symbol of permanence reminding us that our lives are fleeting and that we must cherish every single moment. There are things in life that do give us more permanent joy, which is like learning Torah or learning spirituality, connecting to our souls, connecting with God, our family, our loved ones. The sukkah also represents the idea that we're all temporary residents on this earth and that the true eternal home is in God Anan and heaven where we can enjoy spirituality that we've learned in this world. As we all know, when you feed your body, it's cool, but then you get hungry again. But when you feed feed your soul. You created a permanency of joy and happiness and connection. So that's something that we can think about how we can bring this more into our lives as Sukkot and throughout the year. All these Jewish holidays going through a certain aspect of our souls that we have to cleanse, that we have to go through. So we just went through Yom Kippur, a deep cleanse of our soul, of our heart, of our mind. So guess what? When that happens, when you have a deep conversation with someone that you needed to have, after that you could celebrate together. So here in Sukkot, we're going to celebrate all together. Also, what is temporary and happy in life? It's when you go on vacation. You know how happy you are when you go on vacation? Sukkot is like a holiday uh, with community and family. We enjoy being together. We play music. We eat good food. We study spirituality, Torah. We talk. We play games. We simply enjoy each other's company, which is amazing. Because we all know during the week we'd be so busy with work and everything. But finally, you go on vacation, right? You can finally spend time with yourself and be still and create memories with your loved ones. So here on Sukkot, it's a perfect time to strengthen bonds of love and friendship and come together with joy and unity on this awesome holiday. I've been 
drawing ever since I was a little kid, so I drew art for the sukkah. There's things that you can print out. I put it up on my sukkah every year. My art shop is 15% off for the Jewish holidays. It's a really cool etrog shirt, mug, and other things you can check out. The blessings of shaking the lulav and the etrog. Now, what is that? We're going to talk about that soon. You can send a gift to loved ones. That's what I do. I just like mail it over to them directly or to yourself. Another mitzvah we do on this date was we shake the lulav and etrog. Now, what are we doing? <laughs> we're bringing harmony into the world. We're bringing different parts of nature together, and we're pushing them together just like different parts of our families, brothers, sisters, mom, dads, grandma, our neighbors that don't get along for some reason, God forbid. <laughs> we're pushing us together, connecting us together. We can think about that when we shake the lulav. So this is what God wants to remind us when we're putting these elements of nature together. We also have to put the elements of our family and our friends and ourselves together again. Well, to our health and to our lives. Also, when we're holding these natural objects, the lulav and Yum. the etrog, we can think about the chain going back from our ancestors and traditions from thousands of years ago that we're continuing today, which is like unbelievable. We can think about the miracle of the continuation of the Jewish people and the Jewish history, how we're part of a bigger story. And we can just think about on this holiday, the survival of the Jewish people and the traditions throughout thousands of years that we've practiced. And here we are today, continuing this spiritual chain. It's so amazing. And I feel so honored to be a part of it. Part, he holds other part. There we go. Jeez. It's a bracelet to the sukkah. also a time that we can think about being grateful. The lulav and etrog are symbols of abundance and blessings. As you wave them, we can express gratitude for the bountiful harvest that maybe we had in our garden or the one tomato that grew in the garden and the blessings in our own life. We can reflect on all the things we're grateful for, both big and little. Yay. We can use this Yay. moment while waving the etrog and the lulav under the sukkah to create a sense of appreciation and being grateful for what we do have. amazing my god bless us with a heart and mind to be happy no matter where we are if it's a temporary place if we're dating or if it's permanent place like marriage may we find blessings may we find happiness in all the steps of our lives may we sit under the sukkah and receive god's light and wisdom and just be happy and relax and be still for one week also i want to thank you guys you guys are amazing all your comments mean so much please comment say hi also thank you to patreons my patreons i mail them art every month and if you want to help the creation of these videos you can look at the description below okay that was fun see you guys hopefully soon Hak again happy sukkot to everybody Suka.